What's up, people? Another episode of Wannabe Chef. And today we are going to interview my good friend and award-winning mixologist and bartender, Mr. Niles Peacock, owner of Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar, about five minutes north of downtown Seattle. You can see downtown Seattle about right here. Maybe you can, maybe you can. I don't know. But today we are going to interview my friend and uh, get his take on the whole coronavirus pandemic outbreak and how this is affecting uh, local businesses here in Seattle and how it's affecting the community and people as a whole. All right, let's go. The this COVID, the COVID nineteen handshake. Yeah, okay, we got to stay go. right, social right. distancing, my yeah, friend. Yeah. All right. The hysteria behind the coronavirus is very real. I got to be honest. Initially, when I first started hearing about it, I thought it was going to be kind of like a SARS or an Ebola situation, where they talk about it in the news, people get a little scared, then it kind of just fades away. This was completely different. This, this, this really affected everyone on every single level imaginable and could possibly change the way our entire society works in the future. Who knows? That's, that's, that's soon to be seen. And you can try and predict anything that's logical, but it seems like everything logical, the exact opposite has been happening worldwide not just locally here in Seattle. We're feeling it, we're the, really one of the first in the world to really feel it hard here in Seattle. This is kind of the epicenter within the United States. I know that for sure, especially in Snohomish County. So my question to you, my friend, how is it affecting you and your business? Well, um I mean, more importantly than how it affects the business, it affects the, the fact that we had to let everybody go, you know, and that that's, sends a ripple out. Those people are all, um, you know, providing income for their families and, 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 and for their loved ones. And so that source of income is now gone. And in an industry that's been shut down primarily for the most part um, as a result of this, it's just really, really hard, you know? I mean, as a business owner, this is where I am and this is where I'll be. And, 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 and my goal is to create enough business in this environment as it is now to be able to start bringing those staff back on right. and giving them jobs again. That right. to me is the most important thing. Right. Um, and so, you know, we're like in definitely new territory here. I've never imagined anything quite like this before. You know? So um, it's a lot of trying to figure out how to serve the community best as a restaurant and how to do that in such a way that, that we can, uh, as a business, be of service to the people that we hired and brought on here and so that they can have incomes again. Right. Um, everything literally came to a halt. And so it's a pretty uh, uncertain time. And you know, uh, as concerning as that is, uh, there are many people in a lot worse situations than any of us are right around here right now. So um, it's just really bad for Everybody, everywhere. So what we're doing, we're doing DoorDash. Uh, we have DoorDash delivery service as well as Grubhub. Uh, those services charge uh, pretty pricey fees. So as a result of that, we can't change the prices for those menus and for people that are calling that come in and pick up or something and we could walk across the street to you there. Those are where we're gonna be able to really take care of our immediate neighbors and guests. And, and that's where we're doing $12 pizzas. That's a six slice pizza, a 10 inch pizza made from scratch. We make our dough here every day again. So every day making that dough, which is great. And um, we have nine, 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 make nine our own croutons. We make our own croutons, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I made a big batch of croutons today and, um, and hopefully I'll go through those this week. Uh, we're doing $9 salad, so a large salad for $9. You have a caprese salad, a goat cheese and beet with crushed pistachios nice Caesar salad and also a mixed green house salad with some Beecher's cheese curd and crushed walnuts. Nice. A little raspberry vinaigrette on there. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so tell us about the dessert pizzas because I, I've had the Nutella Gorgonzola. Oh yeah, yeah, so love it. So the dessert pizza that we have is, 
is a, uh, a pizza that's gonna be topped with Nutella and your choice of gorgonzola or your choice of mozzarella or my personal favorite, no cheese on there, just topped off with some uh, sea salt, that's it. So just salty, nutty, chocolatey, delicious. That's and that's also good. a 10 inch pie. We nice. call it the pie of love. The pie yeah. of love. Yeah, the pie of love. And you're making yeah. the love because you are the one actually Yeah, that's it, you know, yeah, right now. Uh -huh. Wow. So I do have a new love for cooking though and for prep and all that stuff. Like when you're doing everything with your hands, you can't not be connected to it. Right. And uh, so I feel a connection to the food that I haven't felt before because I'd never been this involved in every aspect of that. Right. So there are some some uh, some positives to doing all this, you know. Right, I definitely right. have an appreciation for a lot of things I didn't before, and uh, that's definitely a bonus, you know. So we'll just move forward, move forward, move forward. Keep swimming. That's it, you know. Hopefully, we don't go into a complete lockdown because that's what people are saying right now. That's what uh, I guess some states are, are are doing a complete lockdown. Some entire countries are doing a complete lockdown, um, and they're saying it could last two weeks. Uh, some people are saying it could last two months. I did a test. I did a test, a lockdown test. And what my lockdown test was, I was thinking, well, I'm a pizza restaurant here, right? And so I wonder if the lockdown affects pizza restaurants. So I called Domino's Pizza in New York City to ask if I could come pick up a pizza. And they said that wasn't a problem. Really? And I said, well, they deliver. And they said, that's not a problem. Then I called Los Angeles, Domino's Pizza. I said, hey, would you deliver a pizza? They said, yeah. I said, can I pick one up? They said, yeah, come on in. So uh, hopefully that test is effective. And if we go into that lockdown mode, I will be in the category of the answer is yes. The answer is yes. So that's what we're looking for, yeah. There you go, folks. So if you want a handmade Nutella pizza by Mr. Ni Niles Peacock, award-winning mixologist and bartender, give him a call. Phone number? 305-610-5425. There it is, That's folks, it. or NilesPeacock.com, or find them on Facebook and on Instagram, Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar. That's it, yep, Niles.Peacock on Instagram. Cheers. Good seeing you. This is the, this C19 handshake, C19. all right, there you go, all right, yeah. I feel the force, man. Yeah, all right, thank you, thank you, all right.